You want to take us to, while we're on the uh, the privacy protection thing, you want to take us to Luann? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Luann says, I recently tried to install some Adobe apps on my Mac, and I kept getting an error message from Adobe. Reading the logs and help pages, I could not figure this out until I finally stumbled on a page explaining system integrity protection and how to disable it. <laughs> Following instructions, I turned it off. I was able to install my apps and then turned it back on. Apparently, this has been a problem since 2017. My question is, is this a problem on Adobe's side of things, or is this an Apple problem? Or is it a problem on my end with perhaps uh, an old corrupted install file from years ago? Um, I would like to understand this for future problems. Um, I, I think you had something to say about this, Dave, here. I... Personally, I mean, I only use Adobe Reader, I uh, so I don't really live in the Adobe world. But I don't know. It's uh, it makes me nervous that you have to do this to install. Uh, I'm not sure what piece of Adobe software um, they're trying to install. I, I I have not run into this personally. No, I haven't run into it either. Uh, but I did a, sl uh, a search for Adobe and system integrity protection and found a, a help article from Adobe that says when installing Creative Cloud desktop apps, uh, you need to give correct permissions to the slash TMP folder. And uh, they they discuss, you know, what the symptoms are that that this causes and they say if you can't change the permissions on the slash TMP folder, then you might need to disable system integrity protection so that you can give the correct permissions uh. to the slash TMP fol folder. But the thing is, it shouldn't be using that folder in that way. No, there's other temp folders that you are supposed to use. And uh, I don't know why they're they're they, the installers have like a sandbox temp folder that they are permitted to write to. It's not a problem. I don't know why Adobe is obsessing about using like what, what one would call the Unix standard temp folder, which is at slash TMP. Uh, I, I mean, it could be argued that Apple is breaking Unix, Unix conventions by, by uh, securing that. But there are like, if you want to look at holes in Unix and how to like sneak yourself root access onto a Unix machine, especially if you rewind like 20 years, the temp folder was the place to go and do this because it's world writable. You could get the root user to execute something that was living in the temp folder that you could then write to like it, it's the source of a lot of Swiss cheese in uh, in in Unix. So locking it down a little bit. Like I, I get why this might be something that Apple wanted to lock down, but they created a better path. Adobe's just not following it, evidently. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with short version. I'm with you. you. Shouldn't have to do this, but you might have to. And I put this article that I found in the in yes. the show notes so that okay. uh, if Luann wants it, that's right there.